So how this thing works is three poles, one for each phase. Each breaker trips each phase independently, but they're connected electrically. And we have to time them to make sure that the timing is within, that it trips within a certain speed and that each pole is synchronous, you know, that it's all working together. So the way that it works is this tank here is full of air, about 240 psi. And this is this is a pretty good sized tank here. I guess it's uh, 150 gallons. I don't know the exact amount. But this this tube here, this goes up into here, and when it gets a command to trip, it just dumps the air this way and pushes that mechanism in the air trips it and charges the closing spring at the same time, so the trip will be a lot more forceful and loud sounding than the close, which is opposite. This tank here, each one of these three tanks, they're filled with sulfur hexafluoride, and that's an insulator, so that as that 345 volts, it's down in here, when the contacts part, and the arc can be interrupted without making a, a giant ball of flame arc plasma. Now, in this cabinet, there's a, a motor and an air compressor. And so each time it gets used up uh, in a close, when the air pressure gets low enough, this motor will spin, it'll drive this air compressor and that air compressor will put air back into the tanks so that they have a full charge to be able to operate these breakers. Um, now we're moving away from these to hydraulics because cold air and air operated systems doesn't always play nice. But that's the basics of how this breaker works in order to trip and open and then when the springs are charged by the trip, they can operate and make a close. And with these, it's, again, this is opposite of convention, but it's a, more of a, just a clunk. When it, when it trips, it's very, very loud. I won't be able to capture that on this phone, but that's how this works. Now there's a little a rod that goes in here that'll tell us what the movement is inside the breaker. So we're gonna hook a rod up to each one of these and then we're gonna operate the breaker. And we'll find out if these things operate fast enough and we'll find out if they operate all together and if they don't, we'll make adjustments so that they do.